Hey, what's going on, fellas? Urban Red Pill. What's up, MGTOW Brothers, Immore Brothers, SYSBM Brothers. Uh, today I want to talk about this little trick play that these women are running with everyone trying to run into the conservative corner. Now, we all know uh, women have a basic bi biological imperative, and that is to manipulate situations with men in order to extract and retain resources. Now, you have one side of women, the uh, ones that align with the left, the feminists, liberals, their tactic of doing the same, the same trick is they tend to try to do it through via taxation, social programs, welfare, Section 8, uh, government quotas, a lot of times they get these high, you know, corporate jobs because of diversity hires. And that's hypergamy all in itself, but that's a topic for another time. But at the end of the day, they, that's the tactic that they use. And on the other side of the spectrum, you have what they call a conservative woman. This woman, instead of jumping through all those hula hoops, uh, wasting four, five, six years of college, um, dealing with the corporate world, what she would rather do is just attain a provider, get him to marry her, and in other words, offer her provision for the rest of her life, which is through the divorce. Women know this now. Women get married for the divorce, not for the marriage. The thing with this is, you got a lot of runaway feminists, a lot of runaway single mothers who have noticed an environmental shift. They've noticed the chickens are coming home to roost. They noticed it's not as many men sitting at the table anymore as they once were. The poker chips are disappearing. So what they're doing is, you know, they may be a little dumb. Well, they may be dumb. They may be naive. But the thing is, when it comes to these tricks on getting men's resources, this is where they shine. They're running to the conservative side to claim that they're different from feminist and liberal women. Most of these women are conform whores that... You know, some come in single packaged as single mothers. Some come packaged as carousel riders. A lot of these women are 30 plus. And what they're doing is they're trying to get men to come back to that plantation because they realize that the left has made a serious mistake. Birth rates declining. Marriage rates are going down. These women are very, very conscious of their environment. Remember, they feel. When there's an environment shift, they feel it. The dating scene, they know that the dating scene is dried up. A matter of fact, if you go to in most local bars or most local, local pubs, unless it's some car club night or special night where guys can bring their toys out and relax, you're going to see a five to six to one ratio of women towards guys in there. So men are not really hanging out at those places anymore. And what's happened is they're trying to run to the conservative side of things because they realize that with a bunch of single women and a bunch of single men that they can virtue signal. Religion, I can make apple pies, happy wife, happy life, lie to get guys to go back to that plantation. Men understand this. Marriage is nowhere around it. Marriage is modern day slavery. They always say the best slave to have is to one that does not know that he's enslaved in the first place. That's what marriage is. Guys who decide to go down this road of marriage are nothing but men that are that are volunteering to be slaves without knowing that they're being enslaved. 
There's nothing in the cards for you. This is 100% wealth and beneficial transfer to females, and they know this. Welfare runs out after 18 years. Women in these corporate jobs, in this corporate America, they're realizing they're burnt out. They're running on fumes right now. They thought if they get these jobs, these six-figure salary jobs, that they will meet a guy that's making twice as much as that because they happen to be in the same room with him. That's not happening, thanks to Me Too. They're realizing the radicals on the left are taking away their lifetime meal ticket that they have evolved to feel entitled to for thousands of years. Be careful. Do not trust these conservative women. These women are talking, saying, oh, I don't agree with Planned Parenthood because I'm a conservative. Do not believe her. Ask yourself this. When they had those li women liberation marches back in the day, you mean to tell me all those women in those marches were all liberals? You mean to tell me none of those women were conservative women? Think of this. Marriage as a union is lying more with a conservative value system, right? So why do we have 70, 80 percent of those marriages ending in divorce all filed by this quote unquote religious conservative woman? Aren't those vows taken under a church in front of a pastor? In front, in front of all, under these, all, this, this religious belief of to death do us part, these are the same women. These are the same women who went and fought for no fault divorce. So they could pull the carpet from under your feet without even having a reason. Plausible deniability at its finest. That's a woman's trick. Where is the counter feminist arguments, the counter feminist protests? All these women are doing is changing their identity. They're going in the bathroom and they're changing their identity. They're chameleons. This is what they master. A lot of these women were sluts in their 20s. Now they're in their 30s and they're screaming conservatism. They want to get married. Family values. Listen, the family values were diminished by women in the first place. So what does that tell you? At the end of the day, However we want to accept this as men, female nature is universal. There's no such thing as a different woman. The only thing different about them is their appearance. That's it. Some have long hair, some have short. Some have slimmer bodies, some have thicker bodies. Some are well, have, have thicker bosoms, some don't. That is the only difference with women. The basic biological ideology, all the lines, whether it's conservative or liberal. Because if you think about it, no matter which road you take, they could take the road to the left, they could take the road to the right. Both roads in inside men's wallets. Really think about it. What road does a woman take that does not end with her trying to extract resources and get provision from a man. What road? If we create a third road for them and say this is the real independent woman road, there would be no women in line to go and make that trip. So what does that tell you? So it's no way possible that they can unalign themselves with one group of woman, women in favor of the other just because... The environment is changing. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all a trick. And it's, a, it's still a lot of gully men out there that will let this, you know, woman dye her hair back black again, which was once big red red five years ago. That would take those piercings and those cow rings out of her fucking nose. That will all of a sudden decide that Having sex the first week is a little bit too soon, even though in one week she's probably screwed like two or three new men in her 20s. All of a sudden, that's not a real, you know, a thing of value to do anymore. No more thottish outfits. All of a sudden, 
she's changed to a more sophisticated look. This is what they do. This is what they do. Guys, be careful out there. More videos to come. And let's just keep this red, this, this red pill information pushing. It is working. I got more videos on that later on this week. All you have to do is ask K's jewelers, ask these department stores. As a matter of fact, you can ask the mall. Has men walking away hurt their industry? You guys take care. More videos to come, and you stay strong, brothers. Take care.